Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for May June 2025. This is variant 31. You have been supplied with the following source files. I have copied all the source files in my working folder here. Task 1, you need to prepare the evidence document. Create a new word process document. Make sure your name Send a number and candidate details will be there on every page of the document. Save the document as J2531 evidence followed by your center number and candidate number. So open a Word document which will be saved as the evidence document for this task. So go to insert header and footer. Give your name, center number and candidate number so that it will appear on every page. Now you need to save this as J2531 evidence followed by your center number and candidate number. Make sure you save inside your working folder. Next, task 2, file management. Create a new folder called racing. So, inside your working folder, you need to create a new folder called racing. Locate only the following files and store them in your racing folder. So, these five files should be copied into the racing folder. So, you can select the files banner develop racing.css the text file and the video file so you can drag this into the racing folder display the contents of your racing folder showing the folder name and all file names file extension file size frame height frame width and image dimension take a screenshot of this folder open this folder in order to show all the details, you can right click, view and you need to go for the option content. So when you choose that, you can find all the details here, the files, the image size, the video frame height, width, the size, all the details are here. So you can take a screenshot of this. Make sure the folder name is visible. So this is step one evidence. Next task three, web page. We are going to create a web page to advertise Tavara Racing who race motor cars. Create in your racing folder a web page called racing.htm. I will be using Microsoft Expression Web for the web page task. You can go for File New HTML page. Save it as Racing inside your Racing folder. The web page must be created using a single table and work in all browsers. The table must be left aligned and fit 90% of the browser window. The table must have a structure shown as in the diagram. So you can see this is a table with four rows and two columns individually taken. So let's insert a table. Go to table, insert table, four rows and two columns. It should be aligned left. And the width must be 90% of the browser window. Give OK. Now you need to merge the cells as given here. You can see in the top row, these two cells are merged. 
same way in the last two rows also these are merged select these cells right click modify merge cells same way the last two rows also merge cells Let's give the cell names as given in the question so that it's easy for us to insert the elements. These letters are just for identification. It should not appear on the final web page. Table borders must appear on the final web page. Set the title of the web page to Tevera Racing. So in order to set the title, right click page properties, you can see here title, type the title here, Tavera Racing, give ok. So you can see in your code the title will be shown in the head section. Place in cell A the image trbanner.png. So in cell A insert you can give the alternate text as banner image alternate text will appear in case your image does not load give ok in cell b video and source tags to display trvideo.mp4 So in cell B, we have to insert the code for the video. So go to the code section. You can see here cell B. Here we need to insert the code. So I'll remove the letter B. Let's make space to write the code. So first we have to insert the video tag, video. So the closing tag will appear automatically. Then add the source tag. Now in source tag you need to mention which video so src equal to the name of the video. So this is the name of the video. Make sure the spelling is correct otherwise the video will not load. Then we also need to specify which type of video it is. So you have to give type equal to video slash mp4. So the source tag is ready. We also need to make sure that the video loops when played and you need to display an automated error message. Also the controls must be visible. Controls means the play button, the post button etc. So that should be mentioned in the video tag. You have to just add the keyword controls to show the controls for the video. Also, the word loop must be given so that the video loops when played. Display an automated text based error message if the browser does not support this video. So you need to mention an error message here. So your video is not supported. by the browser. Any text message you can add here. So this is the code for the video. Next enter in the cell the text from the file trtext.txt set this text as style h3. So in cell c you have to enter the Video will be visible when you run in the browser. In cell C, you have to enter the text from the text file. So this is the text file, tr text, copy the data, sorry, copy the text and paste it in cell C. Now you need to set this as H3. The style should be H3. 
So here you can see the styles. So here you can see the styles. Select H3. Enter in cell D. The text click here to find out more about our exciting developments. And this text. So copy this text and it should be placed in cell D. So this is cell D. You can place the text. Enter in cell E the text web page created by followed on a new line by your name, sender number and candidate number. So in cell E web page created by followed by your name, sender number and candidate number. Set all the text in cells D and E as style H2. So select these two cells. The style should be H2. Make the text exciting developments a link to open the web page TRW. So exciting developments. You can select this text. Right click hyperlink it should open a new an existing page which is already given so go to existing file or web page select the file trdevelop.htm and it should open in a new window called blank so select the file go to target frame select new window called blank give ok ok so the hyperlink is created Make the text job opportunities a link to any email editor to prepare an email with the subject line job opportunities. So this is the email address. So select the word job opportunities. Same procedure. Right click. Hyperlink. Now this is to prepare an email editor. So click on email address. Type the email ID here. The subject line should be job opportunities. So you can type job opportunities here. Give OK. So the hyperlink is created. Attach the style sheet trracing.css to your web page. So attach the style sheet. You can see here attach style sheet option. Click on attach style sheet. If you don't find it, you can find from format. CSS styles attach style sheet. So click on attach style sheet. TR racing. This is the style sheet. You okay. So the style sheet is attached. Edit the style sheet so that table borders are not collapsed. So let's open the style sheet. So you can see table border collapse property is given here. So we need to change this collapse to separate. If it's not collapse means it should be separate. You can either type it directly or you can format from the styles. Go to format, manage styles, select table, right click, modify style. So in table option you will find the border collapse you can select instead of collapse separate should be selected give ok so now it is separate or not collapsed save the style sheet save your web page take a copy of your html source and place this in your evidence document so save your web page. 
HTML source, go to the code, select all code, copy and paste it in your evidence document. This is step 9. Place the HTML code here. Display your web browser, web page in a browser. If necessary, resize it so, so that the full page can be seen, text can be easily read, and the address bar is visible. Take a screenshot evidence showing your web page. Make sure the web page is saved before you open it in the browser. You can open in any browser which is supported by your system. So now you can see. This is the page. Now you can see the complete page is visible. So take the screenshot before taking the screenshot make sure table borders must appear on the final web page you need to check that so you can Make sure the table border appears. You can change in the style sheet. Go to table. Go to the table property. In border. You need to make sure border style is solid. Okay, same way. In TD also you should do that because then only the internal borders will appear. Border, it should be solid. Let's refresh the page. Now you can see the borders are shown. Take the screenshot. You can paste it in your evidence document. When you are taking the screenshot, make sure the address bar is completely visible and all the data are readable. Task 4, print the evidence document. So you can print the evidence document which is ready. The output is given here, the file management task, the HTML code and the web page view of the browser. So this is the end of the web page task. Next task is spreadsheet which will be done in another video. Thank you for now.